Hey everybody, this is Jen. Let's talk Thanksgiving and Christmas. I advise, whether you're in P2, P3, or P4, not to skip. That's right, don't skip it. I fully believe that trying to maintain P2 or P3 diet while having a holiday is a is a bad idea. Now, that said, oh, it, it really leads to this is tough and you've gone too far on my emotional endurance scale. Really quickly. There's nothing like the holidays to make people go crazy. Um, so, what I propose is a modified but special meal. And it, it, I have a few very simple recipes that uh, can be made in advance and you can take with you some of it and if you leave the house and it will just it will help you maintain your okay good standing on the scale through the holidays so turkey or ham both of them are not on Dr. Simeon's protocol however a lot of people myself included, find that they don't cause problems. Um, ham can be a little bit salty, but salt is a very temporary gain. I go for it. You know what? Cranberries. Cranberries are like the easiest Thanksgiving dish to make ever. Um, I'll tell you right now how to make them. You buy one of those 12 ounce bags of uh, fresh cranberries in the produce section. You pour them in a saucepan. Look for, make sure there's no rocks or anything in them. Um, you can rinse them if you want. Then add one cup of water and one cup or equivalent of sweetener. I like Truvia. Um, liquid Splenda is good. Granular Splenda if that's all you have. Um, just don't use sugar. Then you need some kind of flavoring. A little bit of vanilla. Um, orange zest, not the juice. Um, I don't know. That, that's up to you because I don't eat oranges on P2, but if you eat oranges, that might be okay. Um, a little bit of orange juice. Um, a splash of sugar-free orange, Tarani syrup, or strawberry. The cherry's not very good. Um, capella drops. Vanilla sugar-free syrup is fine. Um, all of these are good choices. Lemon juice would be fine too. And uh, you, you heat it for 10 minutes and you, your cranberries will pop, 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 pop and they're pretty much done. And you'll have beautiful, very easy cranberries and you'll have some for other days as well. It's super easy to make cranberries. Um, if you're a mashed potatoes fan, the best I offer is mashed cauliflower or mashed turnips. If you don't like turnips, give them a shot. The way I make them is a little bit different. If you cook your cauliflower in a saucepan or your turnips or a mixture of both in chicken broth and then drain them, it really improves the flavor. And then uh, go a little mop. Add some butter. Add some fat-free cheese. Um, Add some fat-free cream cheese or sour cream. They uh, really enhance the flavor. Add a tablespoon of uh, bacon bits to it and puree it up really good in a in a with a mixer or something like that. That can help. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's awesome anyway. Um, green beans. Green beans are easy. Buy you a package of those uh, long. French style green beans and uh, boil them in a skillet with uh, in broth and some some Bragg's liquid aminos or some soy sauce add some garlic powder some onion powder and uh, maybe some liquid smoke that's what I like and after the broth boils out um, let it brown a little bit maybe add a teaspoon of coconut oil to kind of give them that fried goodness and uh, top them with some of these um, 
almond ex accents. One tablespoon is 40 calories, and that would make any green bean dish special. It may not be green bean casserole, but it's still special. And you're doing something to motivate yourself. Um, and it's very low carb. It should not make you gain very much. Now, there's a little bit of salt to that, too. But salt, salt, sodium gain, water gain, it's very temporary. It'll come off within two days of proper... You know, going back to your proper P2 or P3. Um, the last thing I have is uh, just a little bit more complicated. It's pumpkin pie for one. Microwavable, crustless pumpkin pie for one. Um, I'm going to put the recipe below this video. It's easy. It's a little bit of pumpkin and a little bit of almond or coconut milk and and uh, some sweetener and you know not much else some pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon um, and you stir it all up and, and you mix it in a bowl and you stick the bowl in the microwave and you microwave it for a minute um, you turn it a quarter turn microwave it for another minute maybe do another minute and you get a big bowl of pumpkin pie and it's like 90 calories it's 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 really, you know, now it's not the same as, you know, condensed milk flavored pumpkin pie with whipped cream and, and crust and all that. It's not the same, but it's still special. It's something not many people, you know, would go to the trouble to do on an ordinary, you know, day, dieting day. And all these recipes will help you stay on the scale in the in the good to go range and uh, really improve your odds of making it through the holidays without a cheat. So anyway, my best advice is don't skip the holidays. In the majority of people, it will trigger something that you'll regret. So anyway. Enjoy it all.